Hi everybody, it's Angelo, and today we're here at a playground. It's one of my favorite places to come to sometimes to break up my training routine. Um, so whatever movement practice that you have, whether you're strength training or conditioning for some event or you like to run or walk, um, it's, it's easy to get up, get caught up in doing the same things in the same place. So um, our body and minds crave novelty, um, experiencing things in a different fashion than what we're used to. So our training routines, is, it's good to practice the same movements to make progress. However, our bodies and minds thrive on learning new and different things um, to do. So hopefully by doing these Vita Moves movements helps to fulfill some of that. Um, so try something new in your training program and see how it works out. Today, we're going to do a squat pull. I'm gonna show you how to do it first. Um, so then you can get an idea of where you can possibly do this. So what the movement looks like is um, you're going to need something to hold on to and you're going to bring feet hip width and then you're just going to come um, either right up against it or maybe about a four, uh, forearm, forearm's length away. So just hold on and then you're going to lean your body back and then you're going to reach your hips back and then come down. So you can see it's sort of this rounded squatting movement. And then on the way back, you're gonna reach your hips back again, come back the same way you came down, and then you're gonna to start to pull down on whatever you're holding onto and come up on the balls of your feet. So you notice as we do this movement, we're kind of putting um, our lats into stretch here, getting our hips mobile kind of bringing more extensibility in our hamstrings and this whole back line. And then we're gonna come up, pull your shoulder blades down and back as you come up, and again onto the balls of the feet. So you can see we're using a lot of big muscles in this movement. And we're using this rounded motion to really mobilize into the squat position, which typically is challenging for most. So you, you may notice that when you do this movement, you'll be able to come down low on your squat, usually than if you were not holding on to anything. Because typically a lot of people are not so flexible that way. So this is a movement that can help progress you into a bodyweight squat movement. So um, you can see I'm really relying on this thing that I'm holding on to for to support um, my weight as I come back. So it doesn't need to be a spider web or something that swings. You could use a doorway um, if it's wide enough and you can get a good grip. Um, you could use a park bench. You could use a tree um, just as long as you're able to um, hold on to something that's at least chest height or somewhere around there that you can kind of get a good stretch here down in your shoulders and back as you do this movement. So that's it. Squat pull. Go ahead and try that and we'll see you next week.